Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing once again in Jumpstart, see if I can... Uh, <laughs> since I already have two Chord Spirit Dancers, thanks to Evangeline, maybe I'll find another. If so, that's what I'll pick. Otherwise, we'll just see what comes up. Well, you know what, there's one that actually would beat that out. You can probably imagine what it is. Uh, but first, I guess I'll open a pack real quick. I have one, it's a daily deal, just Rivals of Ixalan. See what I get? A bunch of new stuff. And Brass's Bounty. So, okay, not not a great <laughs> not a great one, but it gets me closer to a rare card. So, I guess there is that. So, the quest today is white or red spells. I guess maybe I should prioritize that. Uh, but we got well more than enough wins to get our rewards there. So, jumping right on in again. Let's see. Choose uh, if Evangeline were here. Uh, so, I think I have to do Basri here because it's so rare, right? This is I, one of the harder ones to find. As much as I like you, Colossal Dreadmaw, I think I'll have to do Basri. And plus, I'm going through a white quest today. I think that's fine. Uh, well, well, okay, I guess there's Enchanted again. So, okay, never mind. That It picked itself for us. We don't have to worry about color shenanigans. Basri Enchanted. Sounds like a book. Let's go. All right, well, we will very quickly have this quest done. Uh, these games brought to you by... Caffeine. Brought to you by tea this time, actually. Unsweet tea. Alright. Seems okay. Wall of Runes. Yeah. As you as you expect, as you imagine. Well, it doesn't matter. Eeny meeny miny, what's the one that throws them off the most? No, I'll pick green. That's what I've been doing. J Post. Hi, J Post. Alright, so let's see. Once we get to a lot of mana, that'll be fun. That'll be really fun. Ah, oh, let's see. Gains Death Touch till end of turn. Great. Well, this can give First Strike eventually. Flying 1 3 versus a 1 2. Not great. Or. Hmm. Sure. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. If they attack with the Imp, we'll be able to swing back for a bit more. Yep, okay, there we go. That works out. Maybe. Ah, oh, we got another Spirit Dancer. Three of four Spirit Dancers, folks. I'm just never going to need to spend a wild card on those. That's awesome, actually. In that case, we'll play the Spirit Dancer first. See if they counter it. They have blue blue up, so you never know. It's certainly possible. Uh, we'll pass. Uh oh. It's dead, Jim. No, it's not. Okay. Now it should be dead. I couldn't really wait until I had five mana, unfortunately. Five to play Spirit Dancer and Face of Divinity. Well, then again, there it was, I suppose. So there is that. Alright. I'm gonna play it on the Pilgrim instead of the Spirit Dancer, just in case they kill this. We'll see if it works out. See if it works out for us. Yes, we will draw a card. Oh, hi! Nice! Aha! There we go! I knew it! <laughs> they had something. Capture Sphere is not what I was expecting, but, you know, I... It is what it is. Alright, so in that case, next turn we can go into... Basri's Lieutenant? Oh, hi. Other creatures with... Ah, oh, okay. Okay, that's not cool. That is not cool. Hmm... Basri Tempered Veteran. Whenever one or more non-token creatures attack this turn. Okay. Creature gains indestructible. Yeah, but Basri dies if I no matter what I do, if I put Basri up, Basri dies. I'd like to get a little bit more than that. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that. I see. It is a flyer, but that's not ideal.
Hmm. No attacks. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Alright, but next time next turn we'll have six mana with which to work. Uh oh. Yeah, this is not looking great, folks. Protection from multicolor doesn't seem particularly useful in this format, as best I've been able to see. Okay. Alright, well, here goes nothing. Hmm. No matter what, that goes. So we can go Pegasus, Veteran, Bosri Solidarity. That's not bad. It's still not enough, though. Not really a point in attacking with the Spear Dancer yet. Okay. Next turn we're gonna have some fun though. Alright. Next turn we're going to have a lot of fun with Basri. Minus two. We're still probably dead here though, aren't we? Oh no, there okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, nope, they're attacking with both. Oh, interesting. No blocks. Hiya! Alright. So they held that back. That's the smart thing to do because they have lethal regardless if I. Oh! Ogre Slumlord. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's interesting. Ah, uh, but I can't do both. Let's see. Until end of turn. So I could put one on Lieutenant. Tempered Veteran. Block here. thinking. Gaining four life isn't bad either, honestly. Just to buy some time, and I can still use veteran. Oh, there's dub, right on time. Yeah, this is okay. Next, go to combat. Attack with a 5-6. Hello? There we go. Death touch. Oh no. Okay, no death touch. Boom. Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. Alright, save the veteran. To be fair, they can just move the scythe over to Fetidimp. So that's not really a concern. Heck, they can move it over... They have enough mana, they can move it to Imp to attack, and then move it to another creature to block. And now they have a Death Touch creature, so that is substantial. That is pretty substantial. Dub is plus two, plus two, first strike. Leon's Devotee. Oh boy. Devotee. All right. All right. Who's coming in? Ah, interesting. In that case, no blocks. Well... That's interesting. Very interesting. I'm thinking. Right. 
They have two cards in hand. I think this is okay. Let it through. Let it be. Pass on to damage. Boom. Uh oh. Scythe. Moving Scythe over. Scyther. Scyther! There we go. Fair enough. It's a. maybe a weird choice, I suppose. Alright. Target creature. Target creature. Oh boy. Uh. huh. Maybe that, that was wrong. Maybe. So now I have enough mana to go Dub and Basri. Oh, I should have put it on uh, Pegasus so I can block the, uh, the Imp. Forced Worship? Very interesting. Alright, draw another card, and we'll still be able to hold up Veteran. Blessed Spirits, right on time. Uh, just you. Yeah. Alright, who are we blocking with? Alright, that's good. Let's see. First strike, not double strike. Next, I can play Chorister, which is probably better than keeping up Tempered Veteran, especially since I have Bosri in hand. And it has lifelink. Totally matters. So they can't attack with either of their flying creatures, but they will be able to block with Fetid Imp. So that is consequential. I do not envy, the, envy them this position. Also very glad I didn't use my Planeswalker too early. Uh-oh. When I see the radical... Uh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. And it flies, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. So Scythe can go on there. So, just really quickly, uh, Heath, I mean, I guess I might as well play it. So we could play Bosri plus put it on Lieutenant to attack, and it's indestructible so we don't have to worry about Death Touch. Um, And then add Spirit Dancer. Might as well, it doesn't matter. Um, you can play Spirit Dancer. But are they going to be able to deal enough to kill it? I think that the answer is pro if they really go after it, they, the answer is yes. Just you. Let's see. This may be wrong, not using... I'm trying to wither down their board a little bit first. So I can return Forced Worship to hand. 
but then I give up the Tempered Veteran, which is important because Roaming Ghostlight can attack, and I'd like to keep my Pegasus. But it only prevents attacking, and that's not such a big deal when they can keep moving the Scythe around. But it means I won't have something to recur with Spirit Dancer. We're getting to enough mana where that actually might be a thing. Now, uh, this might be correct. Boom. There we go. Alright. So they get another rat. Fair enough. I get a Spirit Dancer. And then we pass the turn. Alternatively, I could have played Blessed Spirits and Spirit Dancer, and then next turn, Bossery into minus two, so that I have additional creatures. Okay, now it's a 5-3. So it attacks. Surely, wait, at me? Not at Bossery, at me? Aha, okay, okay. That's more like it. And these things have Death Touch, because of the Slumlord. Now that's interesting. That's really interesting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are, do we just win if we do this? they don't, let's see, if I kill this thing, they get another creature to block. If I swing out, that's one, two, three, four, five, okay. Yeah. I think we just take it. Alright, here goes nothing, folks. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I'm at one. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, it taps. Okay, good, good, good. Good, it taps. Still, that's another creature. So that's a bit of a problem. Interesting. Okay. Now, obviously we're going to use this. I can put it on the lifelink creature, or I can put it on the flyer. The flyer is guaranteed damage. So I guess we put it on the flyer then, don't we? All right, here goes. All right, let's see if they do this correctly. Actually, probably should have even played more patiently. And just plussed instead. Put a plus on... What? Lieutenant? Alright. Yep, they did it. They did it. This is a one toughness creature, so obviously the flyer goes here, duh. This goes here. Wait, no. This goes here. This goes here. There we go. I have two cards in hand, okay. Unless I'm missing something, should be okay here. Oh, whoa, there were way more than one. Somehow I only saw one rat there. I don't know how I only saw one. But yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, we were done. We were done. That was that was almost certainly a misplay on my part. I probably should have plussed again with Basri. 
Um, made my Vigilant creature indestructible to try to get rid of a token, and it can block anyway, and then just gone on that plan. So that was, that was on me. Uh, the answer is continuously hold that back. I didn't have lethal, and I shouldn't have done that. Eternal Spike. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll keep. We'll keep. Sure. This looks fine. So that, that was just me messing up. The deck was fine. Deck did, oh jeez, what it needed to do. I just messed up. Indomitable Will. Okay, so we could hold on the Spirit Dancer. We could. It is a black deck after all. If I play Spirit Dancer, she's dead, right? I'm pretty sure she's dead. I need to get four mana to go Spear Dancer Will. So I'll, I'll play patiently here. Oh, but they just... Okay, okay. They didn't have a two mana removal spell. Uh-oh. But they have something now. So if I play that, it gives away that I have the Bosri deck. So I guess we'll play that. Attack. All right, let's see. End turn, cool. So they have something at three mana, in, at instant speed. I'm hoping that Spirit Dancer will just get us there, but against a black deck, the answer's probably no. Ah. Oh good, they're using that now. Oh my goodness. Well then, well then. Uh, the coast is clear. The jig is up. The news is out. They finally found me. Renegade, da 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 Okay, cool. Oh, and we have two more auras to use. Granted, they don't have a creature yet, but that will change. Alright, if they kill it now, Trusty Retriever can get Indomitable Will back, and there it- wait, whoa, what What just happened there? At the beginning of your upkeep. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. I can dig that. I like it. Nice. Hmm, okay then. Well, I guess we'll play one of you. Hiya! Uh, sadly, no more card draw. If I play the Retriever now, it's just a big creature. I can get back Indomitable Will. Honestly, though, that's not even a great aura, and I'm about to lose Spirit Dancer, so I guess we'll just play it as a as a 3-4. I think I might have misspoken and called it a 4-5, but it's a 3-4 with the counter. Alright. Let's see what they have going on. Uh-oh. If nothing else, you know, we drew, we got to draw a card, and we hit the opponent for five, so it could be much worse. Is Agonizing Remorse... that's a sorcery. Okay, so they had to do it then. This is an unusual card. Though, it does say to any target. Oh, fair enough then, I, I guess. Alright. hi -ya! Yeah! Wah! Okay. Enough of that, Jay. Enough of that. Never. Never enough of that. Alright, now they have... Uh, yeah, Phyrexian mana. So I... They have the Phyrexian one. That's the one that wins above all. Alright, so they had to burn a card to do that. Fair enough, I guess. And then we'll play Knight of the Tusk. And hope that that gets us there. If not, we can play a little bit of defense. A little bit. Carnifex Demon. Yet, we don't get Shieldred like they do in paper. We get Carnifex Demon. Unfortunately. Alright. No attacking, no blocking, and no activated abilities. At all. Just 
You get nothing. Good day, sir. I passed her. Yeah, yeah. That makes this, uh, kind of... Oh, no. Becomes blocked by a creature. Oh, okay, okay. We can live with that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This feels wrong, but, I mean, I guess we're doing it. I did get both Faith's Fetters. Ooh, now that's a, that's a good thing, though, and sadly, Forced Worship doesn't prevent them from blocking. That's unfortunate. Okay, then. I have three of the four, maybe four, but I, I remember for sure three of the four... Ooh, hello. Uh, jump starts that I've done have had Enchanted as one of their decks. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. That's nice. Nice. Well, now there's no point in even attacking. So I guess I'll just play the Forced Worship to prevent it from attacking. And then, if I need to, I can do some threat assessment later on. And return it to hand. But now we're in top deck mode, and it's not great. I think this deck can do top decks well enough. Oh, there's first strike. Okay, that's fine. Now we can go attacking. Oh, uh, this is not going to work the way you think it does. Okay, they 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 returned. They they figured it out. All right, pass. Hey, got there. Got there. They weren't dead just yet. I mean, there is removal. <laughs> there is definitely removal. Uh, but what can you do? Okay, so we finally, finally got one. Wait a minute, that was only game two, wasn't it? Wow, this, this may take a while. Alright, choose an opponent. It gets minus one, minus one for each card in the chosen player's hand. Sure. I mean, obviously there's that discard synergy. Discard, discard. Uh, so yeah, it gives you a viable win con in like a, a Davriel deck. Any deck that wants to play cards like Mind Rot, I suppose. Uh, you know what? While we're here, I guess we'll open up a pack. See what we get. Might as well. Let's see. Good day! It's Snoop. Snoop Mog. <laughs> It's not Snoop Dogg, it's Snoop Mog. I love that nickname so much. I love everything about that nickname. Okay, so uh, that was cool. I guess let's uh, keep playing. Let's get back to playing. Alright. Two more wins in. Or three more wins. One more to get the last reward for this. Two more so that I can get my uh, handy dandy four wins I like to get. Oof. I haven't played you before. Keep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll go... Oh, thank you. Hello. Hello. That's always cool. It's cool to see somebody else doing that. Veteran. Alright. It's not a giveaway that we have Bosri just yet. Although, they see Tempered Veteran. That's in the Bosri deck, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure of any other decks it happens to be in. Both of those, cool. Pegasus, right on time. Um, I'll still keep playing it out, I guess. If they want to kill it, they can kill it. This thing requires six mana to throw a counter on a creature that doesn't already have one. Alright. How are we doing? Hey, right, there we go. I would like to be able to use Knightly Valor on a Mystic, or a, a Core Spirit Dancer, rather. Uh-oh. Ah, okay, okay. Eliminate. Alright, that's good to get that out of the way now, at least. That's fine. Phyrexian Rager. Alright. Sick. I like that card. I love everything about that card. Alright, let's attack first. And then play that Pilgrim. Not that it mattered, they were tapped out, so whatever, but still. Okay. 
You? Hello. The, uh... Oh, great. Surprise attack coming from above. Uh, no, let's not block. Next turn, we'll have some knightly valor in play, which will actually buff both of them. This thing already has vigilance. This grants vigilance. We put it on the Pegasus, which also buffs the Pilgrim. Alright, so we just have a lot going on now. Both of these creatures will be immune to the zombie coming down, because plus one plus one. So, let's see what happens here. A little bit of- oh, they didn't. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I like that. Instead of playing Knight of the Tusk, I'm going to play Basri here to make sure that this uh, knight here gets to be all okay, gets to live. So all of my creatures will now survive a Phyrexian Rager. They'll actually need to play a zombie here or something to that effect in order to kill the Pilgrim. So like, play a zombie and then double block to kill Pilgrim. Even then, we'll gain some life. Okay, I'm okay with this. Oh, oh, mate, it's just a... No, don't do that. No, what are you doing? It's indestructible. Oh, no, they forgot about indestructible. Oh, they put it on the wrong thing. Oops. Oh. Okay, so now it's a 2-2. Two -two. Good game. Good game. Oh, they, they tried. They, they still had a decent chance had they gone the right way. I mean, I've made my share of misplays, obviously, but... <laughs> I, I think that game I played as well as you probably can. Alright. Riptide... Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Riptide Laboratory. This is... This is so janky. I love this thing. I love being able to bounce certain wizards that work at the Academy Baron to just continuously unsummon the opponent. It takes a lot of mana, but you can eventually get there. This has uses in other formats, but for right now, and it's a card that will only get better as the format goes on because they won't stop adding wizards to a game called Magic the Gathering. That, that will keep happening. Alright, let's play a couple more. Hopefully just a couple more so I can get the two extra wins. And maybe they won't take so long. Nichiku, not Nikachu, Nichiku. Is this, is this Nikachu being silly? I hope so. I go first. Uh, two mana, one drop creature. Sure. Let's keep it. So my two mana plays are put a bunch of counters on stuff and forced worship. I think I actually can wait. I'll play the Chorister now. Anointed Chorister for some reason reminds me of the choir mage in, uh, in Bloodborne. When, when you're heading... oh, okay. Just fire it away. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Alright. Block, kill it directly. Yeah, we're just gonna kill it directly. That's fine. Alright. Heath, I'm going to say... Blue. I think it's when you're approaching, not your, maybe it's the school of Mensis. Uh-oh, that's really not good. Okay, well, Houston, we have a problem, and we didn't find a land drop. Houston, we have a serious problem, holy heck. Uh, I guess play out the creature. I hope I can get there. If I can find another land, I can play Face of Divinity, and if Stonehaven Pilgrim lives, I'll have enough power and lifelink, I should be okay for a while. I can start holding back these elementals. Even if they get into chump block mode, I'll be gaining life. That's the hope. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Please land. No. No. 
we just get you instead? I mean, it works. It's a 1-3. It blocks both of these. I guess there is that, but I, I could really use another land. Come on, deck. Come on. Please. Por favor. Alright, is it dead again? Kill it again. Okay, yep, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you decide to show up. Better late than never, I guess, but... Whew! Okay. We'll see what happens next. Another aura has to be attached to the creature, which doesn't really work for these. Oh no. Oh no. You stop that. You stop that right now. Nice. Okay, well, in that case... Oh, this feels terrible. But it gains me some life. It keeps some damage off of me. Not much, but something. I'll take it. Now what deck is represented by these lands? I don't remember to be honest. Uh oh. Chandra's Rage Mo- oh. Now you- Oh boy. Okay. Well... I guess we'll put this on the- on the magma. It doesn't do much, but okay. Uh, it keeps one point of damage off of us, and we can put it back in our hand if we need really use, what, a spirit dancer? Something with lifelink. Or something with, a, or spirit dancer, another aura, face of divinity would give us lifelink, and then we'd be okay. Alright. Plus, with spirit dancer, once you have enough mana, you can just loop forced worship to draw a bunch of cards. It's not ideal. You use up a ton of mana, but oh, we're super dead. Oh no! Okay, well, there's that. Alright, do it now. We'll take one, go to five, gain four, go to nine, take one. No, 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 that's already counting for this, that's right. Because this one can't, it's summoning sick. Alright. Do it. There we go. I'm trying my best, folks. I'm doing what I can. It's just not working. It's not working out. Yeah, Pyromancer is a problem. The fact that they dealt with all my creatures is really concerning. Alright. Uh huh. Wait. Yeah, that's game. Good game. Even if I use Force Worship to throw it on the Singir Vampire, we're kind of in trouble here. I'll do this just for shiggles. <laughs> that's a very technical magic term, just for shiggles. Let it resolve. And then can see. <laughs> Just being cute, I guess. Just being cute. I mean, look at me. Young Pyromancer. I love it. Le legitimately one of my favorite cards with which to play in, in the game. It's, just, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright. Manga. I, to be fair, I do actually like Monastery Mentor more. Um, oh, but that's the vintage player in me coming out. What? How much mana are you? You're three. Four. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. The choice of which land to play first. Oh, rogues. Rogues. Very nice. Um, can't block, right? Yeah, can't block. Alright, so that seems fair enough. Uh, there's obviously a catch here. Obviously a trick up their sleeve. I think I'm willing to trade that trick Especially, yeah, yeah, we're fine with that. Oh no, oh no. Mm, what? Nani? All right, all right, and flash. Yep, flash. 
Oh, okay, okay. Did not end up killing him, though. That's fair. Siege Striker. Any number of untapped creatures you control. It's great with Vigilance, but, uh... Yeah. Oh, whenever it attacks. Yeah, there we go. Okay... They're tapped out. Not that it matters, they don't have enough mana anyway. Um, the one little bit of lifelink doesn't seem all that consequential. That's fair. Is that the right trade to make? I don't know. If I'm being honest, I don't know. Yeah, that's the only one. I readily admit that may not have been correct. Hmm. Did get rid of one of their creatures, though. When it dies. Okay. Lose two, gain two. Cool. Um, I would, I would like to save the Fates Fetters. I think that it's correct to save it. Do this. Maybe I'm, maybe this is not correct of me. Saving it seems right, because it looks like I'm anticipating them Oh! Hello! Hello! Not that it matters here. Yeah, double strike is a thing. Double strike is a thing. Okay, well... They just messed up a bit. It happens. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, then this is the rogue's land? The rogue swamp? Good to see another monocolor jumpstart deck going on. Whew. Stab wound. Okay. So I'll lose two. And it's smaller. Oh. Hello. Now this seems easy. Alright. Hiya. And then hit again. Um. Sure. It can buff Striker if nothing else. Uh, plus Faith Fetters can let me draw a card. Please play something. Corpse Hauler. Okay. Good. Oh no, they have two creatures. Oh no. Alright, they lose two. Bosri- Oh ha ha! Ha ha! When it dies- Okay, cool. Return another target cre- Oh, they have to sack it. Ah. Uh... That seems right. Yes, I would gladly draw a card. Messy. Alright, game four. Cool. Attack with just you. I believe is right. Yeah. Obvious block is obvious. Unfortunately, no trample. And none of my auras actually even give trample. Alas. Alas. Please concede. <laughs> That's terrible. Just please concede. That's it. It would take a little bit less time. Let's just get this over with. Oh. Oh, another one. Interesting. Alright, well... <coughs> Hello? Hmm. Blue.
You can also put it on Pegasus. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Pegasus can block no matter what. So we'll put it on you. Uh, this doesn't represent lethal. If I don't block, if I don't use the Pegasus as well, the block go to ten. I think this is okay, right? No, it does because uh, it's already at it's already at two two, so it'll be four four after this. So they have to block no matter what. This is fine. In that case, I should have attacked with Pegasus as well, just for the extra point. Totally matters. Totally relevant, folks. I am out of caffeine. I mean tea. Alright, so next turn I can just play Knight, if I just feel like it. Oh, what is this? What did that do? If you've gained three or more, return up to two target creature cards, okay. Okay. That makes sense. So I guess we just win here? Yeah, we just win. Unless there's a one mana removal spell, let's just do it. Put it over here. Just you, and then why not do all of them? Boing, boing. All right, that, that's game. There we go. One mana, instant speed. There's no fatal push from Jumpstar, right? And even if there were, they didn't have a uh, revolt triggered, so that's okay. Revolt online. One more. We only need one more. We can do this. So I think the record for the day is three of five. I think it's definitely three wins. I think we've only played five games so far, so we're doing we're doing all right. Maybe we can make it four two, which is a uh, forty two, totally, which is uh, the Douglas Adams number, and I'm okay with that. Ah, once again we get to go first. Oh, and we have Dub and Face, Dub Face. Now with Anointed Corister though, it is a little bit redundant. Um, yeah. And so, what I mean to say is that Face of Divinity gives first strike and lifelink. Well, Dub gives first strike and it has lifelink. So, it would just be an extra buff. Aha! But there's, Kate, there's Siege Striker. Alright, so we'll attack. Hiya! Play the veteran. And with Siege Striker, I'm incentivized to actually. Well, so Dub does nothing except give plus two, plus two on Siege Striker. It already has double strike. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just go make some lifelink shenanigans happen. Uh, hello? Hello. There we go. We got there. We got there. Um, sure. Let's do it. Just you. Alright. You shall not block. This is about to be a 4-3? Yeah. E. It's a very technical magic charm. Yee. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, but no equip either. Aha! That will do it. That will definitely do it. Hiya! Let it through, gain some life. Sure, Striker. Siege Striker. I said Sure Striker. What is this? Beginning of combat in your turn, you may have target creature get plus O or plus two plus O until end of turn. I mean, they're doing a decent job of racing, I would say. This makes me wonder if it might be right to put Face of Divinity on it just for the extra buff to a lifelinking creature. I think it's fine to let this through. I think that's okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Cool. Indomitable will. Oh, jeez. Well, that answers that question. I mean, sometimes you just have it all. I guess. 
Not you. Not you. Two attackers. Tap you. Yeah, we get to go crazy. Come good game. Uh, we... I don't... Man, that was quite the game. There wasn't really anything they could do. It's hard to play defensively against a deck with a bunch of first strike lifeline creatures. Alright, so we got there, folks. I feel like opening a pack or two. So I'm actually going to do that. See, I did not open a lot of Theris Beyond Death. I wasn't on Arena too much while that was going around. Uh, so because of that, I think it's probably alright for me to... Yeah, okay. I was in the wrong section. Why? I did Alright, so, okay, there we go. There we go. So I actually somehow managed to pull no Sentinel's Eyes, uh, no, what's it called, Transcendent Envoy. I think I have maybe one uh, Eidolon, all see it of the one mana protection creature. So let's just open a few of these at a time. Not go too crazy. I'd like to see what I can get first. I mean, the cards I'm missing are largely commons, although I still didn't get any there. That's a rare wild card, though. That was fine. I guess we take those. Let's try that a time or two more. I want to be careful about doing this too many times, because I really do like the jumpstart. Why did I do that? The jumpstart event. It's pretty neat. Let's try this again. All right. Unfortunately, one of the issues with Theris Beyond Death is that, whereas with, say, like, uh, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, Ikoria, the lands that you can get are really good and useful in Historic. Not so much with Theros. You have your Scry lands. Erebos Intervention. Okay, that's that's good. We certainly take that. Birth of, How would I not... Okay. Another Field of Ruin. What on earth? That is the most Phyrexian-looking Theros art. Alright, I'll try one more time. I can, Sentinel's Eyes. Sentinel's Eyes. Sentinel's Eyes. Please. Alright. One more time. Hold me to it, folks. One more time. Though I guess I don't have to. I could keep going. As long as I keep at least 2,000 for more Jumpstart. Indomitable Will. Okay. Oh! Hmm. That's fun. I, that's useful. I could definitely make some use out of that. Hmm, okay. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I'll do I'll do two more. I'll do two more. Please let me get get some number of these. Alright. One at a time, though. I am just really not either are commons I'm looking for. How am I not getting these commons? Oh, Heliot, okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Last one. Oh, and we're working on our way, working our way up to the mythic track. Five rare, twelve mythic rare, forty-two uncommon, twenty-four common. I could just spend the wild cards. I would like to not have to. And there are some rares in here I could use as well. All right. But this is actually the last one. I want to keep enough coins that I can play jumpstart. So actual, factual, last one. I've, I've been a fan of Jumpstart. It's it's an interesting change of pace. How I still didn't get any. Uh, this one counts. I'm totally counting that. Heliod's Intervention. Ah, okay. I mean, the, the gaining life isn't usually all that relevant, but destroying a ton of artifacts or enchantments, that's main boardable and historic because uh, Sanctums are a thing. And there are enough artifact decks, it's fine. So yeah, like, I guess if I'm playing, like, in a Johnny's Pride Mate deck, this could be main boardable as a one or two of. Trigger life gain and, uh, you know, maybe hate on some other decks every now and then. And it's an instant. So I managed not to score any of them. I, three spirit dancers from the three enchanted packs I got, but not a single sentinel's eyes. And, and here, here, let me, let me demonstrate that real quick. So collection... White Aura Vigilance. That should be enough. Yet yeah, none. Not a single one. How? Okay. And then what's the name of that derpy little uh, bounty? No, that's... I don't actually remember its name. All Seed of Life's Bounty or something. Yep, yeah, All Seed of Life's Bounty. None. 
None. Ah. How about Envoy? Black Luster Soldier. Envoy of the beginning. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I have two of you. Ah, uh, fair enough. Man, I just... How? How did I not pull any of you? <laughs> Good grief, why? Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll just have to bite the bullet and spend some of my... way too many wild cards. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I would have liked to have them, but I got some decent picks regard... decent pulls regardless. I just find it silly that I have three of you... oh, whatever. Alright, well there we go. Take care, Magic Community, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.